What's up guys, Russ Raz Gaming here with the Metal Gear Solid review and my friend told me that some of my videos are a little risque and it might alienate people but I want to stay true to myself so disclaimer here and it's not about the popularity for me it's I don't, I don't even I don't even really know but it makes me happy and it gets me up in the morning and maybe that's enough even if it's on this you know, small little corner of the internet. I know I've gotten dislikes, and I didn't want to ruin anyone's day, but this is just my thing. It keeps me going. So let's get into it. Metal Gear Solid is a game about a group known as Foxhound on an island called Shadow Moses taking over a nuclear weapons disposal facility. And... In order to stop them from launching a nuke at the U.S., they have to send in their operative, Solid Snake. Not Foxhound's operative, but Solid Snake is sent in to bust some heads and make things right. And I need to get into my history with this so I can really relax. Metal Gear Solid was the game of my childhood. <laughs> I'd never even really beat it myself, but my uncle and my father, both deceased, as I've talked about earlier, used to play it all the fucking time. I remember day after day after day at night, I'd just get on the couch with them and just watch them bust baddies and fuck shit up. And I always thought Solid Snake was the fucking coolest. For a while, I I wanted to be Solid Snake. And in my Hitman review, I talked about like trailing people and keeping a notebook on people's movements. Because I wanted to be Solid Snake. I, I wanted to be him. I wanted to be like a, like a spy. I wanted espionage in my life. And... And I even, I remember on, I remember when I was really little, I asked my mom one Halloween, can I be, well, not on Halloween, but earlier, can I be Solid Snake? I want to be Solid Snake. And she looked at me and I know she tried her best, but I ended up getting a G.I. Joe costume. And she said, well, they, well, they're both soldiers. You could still be Solid Snake. And most kids would probably throw a little fit but i put that costume on and damn it i was fucking solid snake i was solid snake i'd go to each house and i tell them i'm solid snake and that seems so weird because it seems like innuendo but when i was a kid i was solid snake I, my little brother i i tried calling him liquid for a little while because because i wanted i wanted so much to be like Solid Snake. I wanted to be that cool. And it was a huge part of my life. Things haven't really been going so well. Things haven't gone so well for a while. My uncle and dad both, well, they both died. I told you that. And when they died, it was Metal Gear Solid's the best is yet to come that got me through it. Let me elaborate. After they died, I didn't see much of point to anything. I, after the funeral, after seeing my mom break down and my aunt try to pick up all the pieces, I just sit in my room. I, I didn't go to school or anything. I, I came down with... I don't even remember what it was, but I wasn't in school for a while. And I didn't eat anything. And I remember sitting there being a teenager that young and just deciding there wasn't much of a point to live. My family's business was pretty much dead. My mom and my aunt didn't want to take care of it. And apparently there was a burden from that that they won't even tell me about to this day. So I just sat there in the movie room, on the couch instead of my own bedroom, week after week, and I decided that I just didn't want to live, so I tried starving myself for a while. But my mom and my aunt wouldn't let me die. They'd bring me food. <laughs> They'd bring me food every day, multiple times a day. They'd try to talk to me, but I wouldn't really say much. They tried taking me out, but I always told them I wasn't feeling good. And I remember the first time hunger pangs set in about two days into my starvation. 
I wasn't showering. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't really. I tried duct taping a blanket over the blind so that no light could filter in and I couldn't see what was outside because I just, it wasn't that I wanted to be isolated from the world. It's that I didn't want to notice the days going by. I didn't want to notice time. I took the clock off. I got rid of all the clocks and I just sat there starving. And when I got the hunger pangs, I looked at some of the food. Some of the food had gone bad, but they still brought me food anyway. I don't know why they didn't take it out. It's almost a torment, really, to just have the smell of those soups, broths, and cooked food just wafting in the air. Uh, it almost became my smell. Like, not my physical smell, but maybe, but... It always, that smell always reminded me that I was where I was, my room, in a place I decided to die. So, I started eating. I started eating, I got into the occult, of course, I think I told you all about that, but that's for another day. I started eating, and I don't know why I started to try to function again, but I did. I do know why. I just told you. The best is yet to come. I played the soundtrack over a lot of other songs that were way angstier. AFI, Three Days Grace, you know what it is. The best is yet to come. I'd put it on loop and just fall asleep to it. I'd listen to it over and over and over again. And I was a raised Christian, even though I became an occultist. And I like to think that maybe the best has yet to come. Maybe life has a destiny for me that's not dying as an adolescent around a bunch of spoiled food. Having starved myself to death. Maybe there was more. So I went out and I tried being more. But I always had problems. I didn't do good in school and I dropped out and I tried working as hard as I could. And I was praised a lot for it. But you can only get so far pushing carts. Not a lot of people know that. Not a lot of people do. And I wasn't. I remember when I decided I had had enough of my mom and my aunt for all the good they tried doing to me. We were just so fucking different. I had to run away from home and I ran. I took all my shit and I got on a, I got on a plane and I went. I left. And I was thinking to myself, this is it. This is where I get to make my own history for themselves. I think I got a lot more in common with Liquid than anything else. My whole family was filled with great people. My dad started his own business along with my uncle. My mother was a model and an event planner. My aunt would book shows too. She, my grandfather fought in some war. But he was an entrepreneur himself. And my grandmother was relatively successful with singing gospel. And it looks like my brother and my sister and my younger brother are doing good too, and that's really... It makes me feel good. It gives me a little bit of light, because I'm not doing good. I left so that I could become my own man, so that I could become a self-made man. Maybe spending all of my youth growing up watching movies gave me a warped view on reality, thinking that this is the arc where I rise up, pull myself up by my bootstraps, and become a man. So I tried. And I went to a college that I will not name. They were unaccredited, and they took everything from me and everybody who ended up there. 
And this isn't a special story because when I went there and I looked at everyone else who was suffering just like me, I realized that I wasn't the only one. I wasn't the only one that lost their family and thought that this was the point where they'd become somebody, where they'd make their name, where they could get the money to make a family, not even be famous, but just be, just help anyone. Just be anyone. And they took it all. That school took it all and nobody graduated. Nobody had anything. They just took our money and left. And not a single legal action has been taken because they always preyed on the weaker people. I'm not trying to make you feel sorry for me, but... I don't know why my mind goes blank whenever I think of what to do. How to handle them. They're gone and I'm not sure who would help me. I tried before, but nobody listened to me. I went to lawyer after lawyer after lawyer. I, I'm not rich. I never have been, so I tried getting pro bono, but the pro bono to take down that school was not worth it, and it never was, and other people tried, but I think they encountered the same problem I did, where they just, their minds probably went blank, just like me. I was trapped in that state for a while. Until my mom helped me get back to where I needed to be back home. I worked in a factory, 12-hour shifts, and I had to walk over an hour down a mountain and up a mountain where I was staying because it's the cheapest rent I could get. And I think that's the reason why my feet fall apart. I worked them too hard, and now I, I can't go through the day without feeling agony f from them and hopefully the doctor can help me now that I've got health insurance but every day and it was summer and it was so hot I listened to just Metal Gear Solid ending and opening themes and the best is yet to come would always revitalize me make me think that maybe the best has yet to come, and that I just need to stick it out. My body's falling apart. And my apartment is a mess. And I have stopped taking out the trash because my feet hurt too much. And it just feels like I'm back in that room and I can smell that rotten food and I can feel myself just degradating. I'm still going, though, and I don't really know why. As cheesy as this sounds, maybe the best has yet to come. I don't want to be a stain on my family. And if I can't accomplish anything, I just want to be forgotten. I don't want them to remember this. I want my family to stay the prideful last name it is. I want Nebraska to still be, to still have a family that, that's done something, that's done anything. That game changed my life. If not for the story that the wonderful people on that staff put together the experience and for that song the best is yet to come I don't know why I'm gonna upload this maybe it's because maybe it'll reach somebody just like me somebody who is having a hard time and is just trying their best My body's falling apart. My bladder's in shambles. My feet are falling apart. My back's starting to hurt. And I'm, I'm not even past my 20s. Why am I going on? I don't know. Maybe it's just that the best is yet to come. This is Russ Raz Gaming. Signing out.